Hi everyone, I'm back. Uh, this is my first video on YouTube. And today we're going to make a simple logo on Illustrator CC. Uh, it's what, I, what I'm using, but you can do it on a bunch of versions of Illustrator. And it'll be simple, I promise. I'll try to, to explain all the steps, or almost all the steps, and okay, let's see, let's open a new file, oh by the way, the, um, the logo will be something like an astronaut head, helmet, um, for, I don't know, it will be called the company will be called gravity software or gaming or whatever we'll see so no documents let's zoom in let's use a circle so you can click shift to make it a perfect circle now we have the the outline black and the, the fill in white we don't want any any outline and we want a black fill so we'll revert and we'll delete the outline um, okay now we can use the rounded rectangle tool just to to extract this shape out of the, the circle. So if you're not happy with the corners, you can, while dragging, you can press the up or down cursor and it will change the, the corners you have there. So this is, this is acceptable. Now let's just um, distribute the shapes correctly. And it's perfect now. Now, this shape must be above the one you want to cut it out from. So they are. So we can come here to Pathfinder. If you don't have this opened, you can come here to Window and you can find it here, Pathfinder. And now we'll click on this one and it will extract the, sh the above shape from the, from the one behind. Now we can make it a bit smaller. Now we can use something for the sides of the helmets and we can use this shape we'll place it here we can open it here another one so and let's make it exactly the same distance both exactly the same distance from the, the helmet by clicking here okay and we can make it in the middle too like this okay mm. are they right no okay now they are now we can choose this one well you can actually choose both you can come here to object path offset path preview and we can use the 10 pixels offset and we can press ok <clears throat> now this shape we're gonna extract this one from this one so click on this one make sure it's above this one and it is because you're not selecting 
the, the, the big circle behind. Um, now we select the big circle behind and we cut it out from the big circle. The same here. Okay. It looks like a Teletubby, but hey, I'm trying. Now we can use a rectangle tool just to create the neck. Well, before that, let's group these three objects so we can so we can center all the objects correctly later. Now let's do the neck. <clears throat> so we have a neck. And let's center it. Okay. We can. No, there's no need. I was going to to join the shape. This one with this one. There's no need. Okay, but we if we wanted to do that, just to let you guys know, if you don't already, you would have to ungroup the previous grouped up uh, three objects and now it's ungrouped and we can now use this one this one and join the shapes here it's called unite <clears throat> so we can now group everything again well but there's no need so I'll just do control Z and it's ungrouped uh, because we'll make something like a chest now, like the the, um, the chest of the um, of the astronaut, just a little bit. So a perfect circle. This would be okay. And now we can just remove. Well, we can come here well actually you can just choose this one with the the white arrow you can just choose this this anchor point and press delete and we have a, a half half of a circle but it's not closed so as you can see it just has these these outline and it's not a closed object but we can close it by just pressing unite and we have a, a closed object now okay let's group just to align with uh, this shape let's align it it's aligned now we can grab this and press shift while dragging and it will be just it will be always centered up and down only if i drag it too much to the sides but vertically it will be perfect every time so let's place it here and let's just cut the parts we don't need probably here let's try Mm. Okay, it's okay. Let's ungroup so we can unite the shapes. Let's un let's select these two and unite. And okay. Um, we can now do do a few details. Let's choose the pen tool, and this this tool is tricky for a lot of people, uh, mostly people that are starting now to use Illustrator or Photoshop. Uh, it's a tough one to to not to ma to master, but to to get a, a hang of it. It's just training that's all I can do it's all I can say 
but okay let's let's try it no too big I'm just making a shape so I can extract from the one behind. Let me see if it's ungrouped. Yes, it is. Let's choose these two and just take it out. Okay, just one detail. Um, what else can we do? Let's do a little shining in the helmet glass again with the pen tool let's try to mix something no it's not really nice let's try it again no okay this is good can like this we have it will go on if I want to go to here it goes on this curve just goes on towards the the right so you click alt click it here and you just delete this direction and now it will start from this anchor point and you can go back so let's like this okay let's see if it's not too small no it's okay um i don't know i don't like these shapes on the side let's make it a little bit smaller it's okay we don't need to to do the same uh thingy we did here Let's choose both. And if you click on Alt and Shift, you will find the, uh, an invisible point between them, centered, and we, it will just go in and out while you drag. So, okay, this would be... Okay, so... Now what I do is I just count the times I press the the, the right key. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen? No, fourteen. Let's see. Okay, fourteen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Um, I think it's okay. This will do. Now let's choose everything. Let's select everything. Let's make it smaller. I always use Shift and Alt. Drag it here, a little bit smaller. And if you don't have a, um, a tablet and a pen, I strongly recommend you, you get one. Uh, I use a, a cheap one. It's, it's the Wacom Bamboo pen and touch I think fun and touch I don't know let me see no it doesn't say under it but it's, it's a small one well they're they're expensive so that's what I can afford um, well you can do everything with the, with the mouse and if you have tried the tablet already it's most likely that you hated it it's tough to 
to get the hang of it but with time you you will forget about the mouse and you will start hating the mouse so I recommend you have you get one um, okay back to the logo let's push it here and let's use the um, the the name of the the company now so let's click once it's active and now we can we can write gravity Oop, gravity uh, gravity it's done let's always on shift while dragging we select it and we can choose the the font we we want to use let's try the the railway something i i i've downloaded you can download it from the fun.com for example um railway here it is there's a bunch of, of variations of it there's thin extra light light regular medium semi bold bold extra bold and black i like the black for for this one We can we can use the, the we can space out the the characters among amongst them and we'll use two hundred. Now it's too big. Hmm. Okay, this is okay. Let's group this. And now, now we have the, the text is, is editable, but we cannot change it or, or we cannot change it graphically. It's editable, but just to, to keep on writing or um, we can do, well, okay, we can use this, this side. Um, now we we, sh we must create outlines and it's grouped and we want to ungroup well actually we want to keep it grouped okay i just pressed ctrl z well no i didn't we can group it and first we we must align Is it aligning? Okay. And now we can ungroup. And as you can see, these are simple shapes. They're not text anymore. And now we can edit them. We can push this up just to just while dragging just see both the blue outlines and the shape you're gonna work with so while pressing shift of course just to make it perfect while going up and we can do it here so we don't cut the the top of the a so everything keeps um, so you can understand all the letters okay now we have the a and we can come here actually let's bring this a bit down a bit down okay we can uh, ungroup we just want to use this shape again objects path offset path preview a little less okay is it I don't know, we'll see okay and now we can choose this one the one we just created uh, edit copy just to keep it safe because we'll need to use it again 
and right now we're gonna use it well there's ton of ways to do this in fact there's tons of ways to do everything this is just my way to do things and we'll choose the these well actually this must be under this one so if you come here with the cursor and it selects da you must select it and send it back you come here arrange send back and now it's behind this one and now we can cut this shape from the letter a here and the same for the v and we'll do the same for the the i so we must come here to edit paste in place the shape we we have copied and here it is again and it is in front of the v already so i can do like this and now the the i should should be two different shapes grouped so well it's a, a compound path so we can release the compo compound path and they are ungrouped so we're just gonna cut from the little dot square um, paste in place again it's in front choose the, the square and it's done um, okay let's just add what the company does something like technology for example technology well this is it's too bold it's the same as this one and we want to differentiate the both both words so we'll just change the the type of of character well it will be the same font but we'll just use a different version or variation of, of the font uh, I think this will be okay let's space it out even more just to just to make it smaller I don't know say 400 I guess it's okay let's bring it I don't know let's align it with align it with the bottom of the the Y I don't know a lot of people just does it like this but I think it's neater if you align it here so we're good we can now create outlines <clears throat> and i always like to make it perfectly aligned so we can okay i have the um, the smart guides on so these actually help just to align stuff <clears throat> and I can oops I can do the same here on this anchor okay as you can see it's perfectly aligned with the with the corner of the other Y and this one is too now let's make it a little a little gap between both words I guess it's, it's okay and then you can always go to Photoshop uh, and make your presentation neater with nice backgrounds or different backgrounds just to show the the client that the the logo works on several background colors 
you can make it white and use it on on a black background just to show him how, or her how how it works um, with black and white uh, and always think about when making a logo always think about uh, a black logo on white background or vice versa and later on you can add colors and but think about it first with just black in in in, in mind uh, because you will not run away from the, the the concept you want to use and the colors will not um, confuse you or lead you to to other directions that you don't want to go um, we could now use gradients and stuff but I'll make other videos in the future and we'll we'll try different things and this is it I hope you guys learned something from it um, of course uh, there's a bunch of people that already knows everything I, I did here but for those of you who don't um, I hope you you got something from this so see you on the next videos